I've always been one of a lawman, arresting those who break the law, going out of my way to stop loot pirates. But recently things have gotten bad. There's more criminals than ever before. Now there is corruption in the legal system where every criminal is let off free. The crime here had just gotten too bad. So I've had enough of the plains, Bronze City, the forests. For an escape I have headed south to Porto Dorado. Where I can finally rest, instead of trying to stop crime anymore I had escaped it. But then I noticed there was one other permanent resident of Porto Dorado, who was boosting the crime rates. It was, Big Jimmy. Running the black market where they sell illegal items, like poison arrows. And using poison in weapons is against the Geneva Convention. But there was no legal system to stop them, mostly because there was nobody else in Porto Dorado. So I made it my personal task to take Big Jimmy down. Big Jimmy is always in the black market. So that is the only place to attack. And everybody knows guns are the most powerful weapon in this game. So attack one a gun. A knife. Maybe this is reality telling me that violence is not the option so arrest. You cannot attack me. I placed a curse on this place so nobody but me can equip items. So I went back to planning and realized that you can sort of equip items that are not a weapon. You take it out, but then are forced to put it away. Then through a glitch in the previous system, I equipped a torch. Burn Big Jimmy, fire is one of the most powerful weapons in the world. Fire is too weak to affect me at all, your attempts are so futile you should just give up now. This is when I started to lose hope. It seemed that Big Jimmy was truly immortal. But then I realized something. Big Jimmy had been hurt before, with an eye patch showing a past injury. This meant there must be some way in the world to take Big Jimmy down, I just had to find it. Then I found another lead. The flare gun. Like the firework launcher on a budget. Its advantage is that it doesn't count as a direct weapon. So there would be a chance of equipping it using that glitch from before. But I tried and tried but whatever happened before was truly random. This was when the intended game mechanics just wouldn't do. It was time to start trying to exploit the game. First I tried turning my Wi-Fi off, to see if I could use the flare gun then. But the flare gun already did no damage to normal players so it did not phase Big Jimmy. With that failing I attempted to find loopholes in the scripts. By pressing F9 you can see some game details. So I searched for the black market in script data, and there it was. The black market was in the same script as breaking glass. So if I were to break glass then enter the black market would I be able to equip items? There was only one way to find out. All I needed was some nearby glass, to break and then enter the black market. One issue, there is legit no glass in Porto Dorado. I looked everywhere but every window was just metal, probably to let air circulate, but today we don't need to stay cool, we need to defeat Big Jimmy. So that plan was caput, because there is no way to move glass. Then I remembered the steamship. Containing the only real mobile breakable glass in the game. It conventaily goes right by Porto Dorado and has a lot of glass. While riding the steamboat I fell off but landed on the water wheel. Somehow I did not fall and get pulled under the water. I had no idea the players had this power of speed or levitation. But it was now time to execute the plan. This will be a major disappointment if this does not work.
glitching the game did not work at all, the code was just too functional. But it is not time to give up. Not all weapons are items. Animals can be used as weapons too, if you lure them to the right space. Nobody ever thinks of it but it might just work. The best way to move an animal is with their aggro, so let's just grab a bison. Don't worry it's safe to bring an animal into Porto Dorado, because there's never anybody here, so nobody could get hurt. There were many issues with this process like dying, but others are the bison not fitting. Not willing to go up a 4 inches step. But eventually the conditions aligned and, the bison was too big to move down the hallway. Despite how far I'd come bringing a bison into a small hallway. All that effort was in vain and the bison would have to be removed to make space for a second attempt. The next try had to work because the only animal after this is the croc, and Big Jimmy could just step on a croc. So take two this time with a bear. The reason I chose a bear is that it is still quite strong, but smaller allowing it to fit in the tight hallways. This time things went much smoother. Then something strange happened. The bear clearly wanted to attack but just stood there staring. I could even stand on the bear but it still did nothing. Soon I realized that the black market must have been rigged with poison so all animals brains would melt when entering. But we can't give up now it is still possible to somewhat move the bear, even though the leads and plans are running out this may work. Until finally the bear was ready to enter, but it didn't again trapped by the curse. Then this happened. I have no idea what truly happened here to this day. But I believe the bear trapped me to communicate a message. That I already had the power to defeat Big Jimmy within me, and there was no point in leaving again. And there was only one thing that that could be, horses. Horses could be summoned in the black market and used as a weapon. There's no stopping me now Big Jimmy, prepare to get trampled. You finally found my one weakness so now I must actually take action for the first time in this whole charade. Everything before this got you nowhere, and when something actually works it requires help from another being. Ha you will never defeat me. After that close call. Even though I put so much effort to defeating Big Jimmy. The goals just did not come to fruition. When trying every game feature and the unintended ones too, it all just led to dead ends. From the beginning the plan was to return peace to Porto Dorado, but in the end all I did was decrease it. I realized that I had become the biggest threat to Porto Dorado, bringing dangerous animals into town, property damage and messing up the trade routes by stealing a steamship. The only things left to try then would just cause more damage, trying to explode my way in, or shooting through grates. Would destroy the town, and risk harm from ricocheting bullets. So there was nowhere to go from here, more attempts would just make me more of a criminal. So I decided to leave. Me being the only other resident I was the only one being affected, and annoyed by Big Jimmy's actions. The logic here being if a criminal never affects other humans would anybody else care? So Big Jimmy's reign of terror would go on but nobody would know it's happening. Leaving this past behind me. I returned to Bronze City. Oh my gosh. We're, ha we're hacking the game. Oh, there's three scripts on boats. This means boats confirmed. They're adding boats, it has, to, it has to be true. It's in the scripts. Let's try car. Oh my gosh, six scripts of car in it? They have to be adding cars now, it's just a theory, but this, this is 100% definite proof right here. It's totally true.